again, guys. It's Annalise. Hope you all are well and enjoying the beautiful weather we are having. Hopefully it's beautiful where you're at too. Getting outside and spending time with your family, your loved ones. I'm gonna do a clock. I have set this up on Lazy Susan on the cake decorator um, with a metal grate for st support, stability, um, and uh, silicone mat so that the clock does not stick. I've noticed if I do anything directly on these metal grates, these cooling racks, when I'm done, I have little ridges on the bottom of my stuff where the paint has dried or stuck to it. No fun. Um, so we're gonna do it directly on a silicone mat so that it'll peel right off. And then we're gonna set it over on our workbench, which is level. And uh, I am going to take this off of here and set it onto a, um, a pedestal that I have over there for it. The back of this one has a nice little cutout. Taped off the back, little tape here so that if, not if, when, um, trying to center this up a little bit, um, not if, when paint gets down in there, it'll have some place to go. So, I'm trying to put the paint so that it doesn't go directly into the center. I did level this beforehand also. I'm going to do the same color combination that I used on my, I don't know if you've seen it, um, on the Lazy Susan. So we are going to start with... I did spray this with a primer because this was just a bare wood. It's just a basic matte white primer. Cobalt, metallic cobalt, aqua green. There it goes down the center. Sure enough. all my paint right down the middle. <laughs> Metallic bronze. I need to start further out next time. See? Learning stuff all the time. Some more white in here. We're gonna give it a little direction. Ooh, I like it. Chewing gum, I'm sorry. If it's distracting. I'm trying to <laughs> didn't even think about it. I'm trying to chew it quietly, but a hole. And spin. Tilt it that way, because I like this. I like what's happening.
Now, I've noticed I have a big problem with negative space. I always say, in theory, I'd like to have some. But if you've noticed, I don't seem to like it. I like the colors to just explode on what I'm working on. And I don't, I don't leave a lot of negative space, if any. Um, as far as this clock goes, though, I think that's what I'm going to do with it. I think it's where it is, and that's where I'm going to leave it. All right, I'll show you this piece when it's all dry. Okay, guys, so here's my dried clock. Still looks really good. Um, I did set it up on one of these on top of my silicone mat, um, and that's, of course, well, where I'll uh, resin it as well. Um, I did another one with the same colors um, and left it on silicone mat with the drying rack or the cooling rack underneath for support. So then this one, the bottom, as you can see, see the paint, the dry pieces peel right off the edge. And it just lifts right off of that mat. And I don't get anything from this underneath and it's still got some support. Um, but the underside where it's touching won't dry for a while. So I took that off and set it on a cup as well. Um, just a couple of different ways to try it. So, um, but that's the finished product. If you guys want to see them resined and put together, um, I'll clean the bottoms up just like I did with um, the Lazy Susan. But if you want to see that, just let me know. All right. Bye.